Please God, we are entering the final week of this lockdown, the final full week, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to coming out the other side. There's still a great deal of uncertainty, of course, but we know that we're in the last week of the church's year, so this has a special significance for the way that we try to focus our lives at this time. Nothing ever happens, of course, in God's plan without a reason. And I would say the three things we should be getting out of this time now as we go into Advent this coming week would be, first of all, to deepen our prayer life, to look at our relationship with God, how we relate to him through conversation, through daily prayer, that vital contact with him. The second thing is, as we start to approach the feast of our Lord's birth, that we think about the purification of our life and how we do this, especially by access to the sacrament of penance, confession. And the third thing is to look outwards in the way we help other people who are in need at this time. Uh, the Christmas season is inevitably a materialistic, a secular time for many people. And our little acts of kindness towards those who are in need and who have less material resources than ourselves can be very, very important at this time. I'm very conscious that uh, you are following me, many of you on the live streaming. And when I look down the church, although I don't see you, I try to bring you to mind in my prayer and carry you in my heart as I go to the altar each day and especially during the holy hour each evening to keep you in my prayer. And I know that many of you would love to be in the church for mass and to be able to receive Holy Communion and the sacraments at this time. And I feel in a very privileged position being able to do that, albeit on my own. But be assured, as I said during the last lockdown, that in a sense, in a very real sense, I'm celebrating the sacraments and receiving the sacraments, especially Holy Communion, on behalf of all of you at this time. Many of you will be feeling rather lonely, and I think we're all feeling a sense of loneliness at this time too. But it will end, we'll come through this, we'll be together once again, and let this time of perhaps loneliness and isolation be a time to remind ourselves of the many graces and gifts that we've got, that we take so much for granted, really. Let's use this time, this time that we might be feeling alone and a bit isolated, as a time to thank God for the gifts that we have, so that when the things that we're used to start to return, we can give thanks to God with all our hearts. Well, normally this last week of the church's year would be the time for our 40 hours prayer, the days of solemn exposition and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Well, this has to be deferred this year, but nonetheless, let's try to unite ourselves with the heart of Jesus in the Mass, in the Tabernacle, and when the church is open full time again and we can come back to Mass, let's do this with full hearts and with deep gratitude for, to God. And once again this week, I want to assure you of my very special prayers. I ask you to pray for me in these coming days and I wish you a very happy and blessed week ahead. God bless you.